Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome from our headquarters in Austria. Today we are in our Mechatronic Center and we are proud to introduce a true milestone in our portfolio of adaptive mechatronic systems. My name is Lena and what we are about to show you today will revolutionize how products are manufactured, assembled and packaged. For more than 30 years, BNR has been working shoulder to shoulder with machine builders and end users. This allowed us to anticipate and overcome all kinds of challenges. We believe that right now the world of manufacturing is facing a specific set of critical new challenges. Products are being made in greater variety and smaller batch sizes. The life cycle of each product is getting shorter and shorter. Also changes in market demand are getting harder and harder to predict. And mass customization is becoming an increasingly common requirement. So Dario, these are some serious challenges. Where do you even start? Hi Lena. Hello everybody. A warm welcome also from my side. You are right. They are serious challenges and they demand a serious solution. A whole new type of manufacturing solution, in fact. I'm talking about adaptive manufacturing. What is that? Well, to be truly adaptive, a manufacturing solution must be able to do four crucial things. First, it must be able to do zero downtime changeover. The only way to handle product proliferation and shrinking batch size is if you can change over instantly between different product and packaging. Second, it must be ready for unknown future products. With today's product life cycle, it's impossible to anticipate all the changes that will happen over the life of a production line. Machinery built today will need to handle product and meet requirements that haven't even been invented yet. Third, it needs to deliver high productivity and accelerate time to market. That's the only way to keep up unpredictable fluctuation in demand. Finally, an adaptive solution need to master profitable small batch production. Mass customization is great. We all love it, but only if we can produce small batches at unit cost comparable to those of mass production. So, where do you start from? You start from equipping your machine and lines with those four pillars, so they can support adaptive manufacturing. Yes, Dario, I couldn't agree more. Adaptive manufacturing is the answer to all the big challenges for machine builders and end users. So how can we help them to create solutions with those four pillars of adaptability? Those capabilities arise from a synergy of the latest advancement in automation technology. That includes things like digital twin, machine vision and of course robotics. And absolutely essential, those technology needs to be seamlessly integrated into the control system so that everything works together as a unified whole. Well, that is certainly something BNR does better than anybody else out there. You got that right. We have digital twin simulation woven right into our software environment and machine vision integrated at a level that you won't find anywhere else. And those, of course, works end in end with our adaptive mechatronic system. From our versatile and powerful family of Acopos servo drives, to the array of world-class ABB and Codian robots, introduced last year as part of a first ever fully integrated robotic automation solution, our machine-centric robotics. And that brings me to the final piece of the adaptive manufacturing puzzle. To tie it all together, you need an intelligent, flexible system moving products through the machine and lines. Many of our viewers will already be familiar with our two intelligent truck systems, SuperTruck and Acopos Truck. Their independent shuttles are controlled in perfect harmony with the machine vision, robotics and other elements to enable some truly adaptive solution. Yes, you're right, but we're here today to introduce something new. So what could you possibly add to that already impressive portfolio? We have set the bar pretty high, you are right. That's why this time we have to come up with something really out there.
Ladies and Gentlemen, allow me to introduce you something that will take adaptive manufacturing into an entirely new dimension. I'm proud to present Acopos 6D. Wow, Dario, it seems Akaba 6D is quite eager to show us what it can do. So what do you think, everybody? I would say it's time to let the shuttle free. Akopo 6D is a product transport system based on magnetic levitation. Permanent magnets in the shuttle interact with the magnetic field generated by the motor segment. The resulting force makes the shuttle float in the air. Because of this, Acopo 6D doesn't need a guide system. The shuttle doesn't follow a predefined path. They can perform any kind of movement of the surface of the motor segment, giving machine and lines unlimited movement flexibility in two dimensions. So that's two degrees of freedom now. But the name is 60. What about the other four? The third degree of freedom comes from the levitation. The system has a full control over the height of levitation, from half millimeter up to four millimeters. But not only that, it has also full control of the force applied by the shuttle independently of the payload. The shuttle can tell the control system how much force they need to apply to hold a constant height or the control system can dictate how much force the shuttle should generate. In a few minutes, we will see some fun way to apply these features. Great, I can wait to see that. The remaining three degree of freedom are not linear movement, but angular movement. The shuttle can rotate along the X and Y axis to tilt the surface of the shuttle. Where it gets really cool is when you synchronize this tilting with other movements. Those two extra degree of freedom can be put to really good use. One way is to enhance our anti-sloshing function by leaning into turns like a banked curve of a racetrack. Another way to use the rotation about the X and Y axis is to replace axis in processing station, saving space, making processing station simple and reducing the hardware cost. That is very cool. And that leaves now only one more. That's right. The last degree of freedom is rotation along the z-axis. As you can see, this adds quite an interesting twist. I can turn the product as it moves between stations, so they don't need a wall separate area to do it. Again, the processing station becomes more simple and more compact. This application gives me the opportunity to show you how perfectly Acopo 6D ties into the entire BNR ecosystem. In this case, together with our machine vision system. Thanks to the complete software integration and the unique integration in the hard real-time PowerLink Feedbus, it's able to fully synchronize with other devices on the network at a resolution of one microsecond. In this case, we see it tightly synchronized with the shuttle position. Dario, a few minutes ago, you talked about having full control of the shuttle force and you promised us some fun applications. Do we have time for that now? Of course we have. Come with me in front of our second demo unit. What you can see here is a typical machine-centric robotic application, where a robot is controlled by the same control unit that is entering the entire machine. As you can see, a robot is loading a container on a shuttle. At the same time, the shuttle is weighing the product. It calculates the product weight based on the force needed to keep the shuttle at a certain levitation position, without any need for a dedicated weighing station. I think you are noticing the pattern here. Acopo 6D either simplifies processing station or eliminates them entirely. 
And I'm sure our audience is already starting to imagine what an unbelievable advantage that could be for their own machine and lines. And one more application that comes to my mind is the ability of the shuttle to apply a definite force to the product it is carrying. This is a very important in applications like capping, assembly, and many more. Acropos 6D, as you can see, has a high sophisticated force control algorithm, giving its user the possibility to have high quality processes. Dario, our packaging industry specialist Vladi, seems also very excited about Acropos 60. I know he already has some interesting applications in mind where Acropos 60 will make a big difference. So Vladi, what are the big challenges in the packaging industry which you are hoping to solve with Acropos 60? Hi Elena. Ciao Dario. First of all, let me tell you that the flexibility of Acopos 6D that I've seen so far is impressive. I've already thinking, started thinking about packaging application and you know, one of the most challenging requirements is to run different products simultaneously over the same line. So Dario, how Acopos 6D can help to solve this challenge? Ciao Vladi. That's a good question. So far, we have seen Acopos 6D shuttle moving individually, but that's not all they can do. You can also group them together to form a convoy. From that moment on, they are linked virtually and viewed by the application code as a single shuttle. The system takes care of the rest. This is a very interesting feature because it enables Acopos 6D to adapt itself to the shape and dimension of whatever product it has to carry. The convoy feature is awesome. I like it. This makes Acopos 6D really a scalable system. But Dario, one more question. What about ending of products between Acopos 6D and other systems? Well, here is a case where you can see shuttle taking a product from a linear motor. The shuttle levitate to the eight of a product and apply just the right force to keep it between them. Once more, you see clearly how Acopos 6D is able to control multiple degree of freedom at the same time. Wonderful, Dario. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to talking with customers about Acopos 6D. And you know, I do believe that this system is going to be a game changer in both primary and secondary packaging. Indeed, it helps our customer to solve the today's challenging directly at the production floor. Thank you, Vladi. And Dario, someone else who sees a lot of potential for Acubo 60 is Frederick, our specialist for medical device assembly. But he also has some questions. Frederick. What would you like to know? Hello, everyone. Uh, well, it's nice to be here and I would love to be there with you, but this is what we can do. Uh, I've been thinking about uh, Acupo 60 and I see a lot of solutions and answers to productivity and flexibility. In the field where I'm working with medical device assembly, we have a lot of challenges when it comes to clean room uh, production and also hygienic designs and not to have any wear or abrasion of any moving parts, that's fantastic, that's really great. I was also thinking, can we use this technology to provide uh, benefits in, in cleaning? My thinking is that if we can make the cleaning faster, then we will be able to increase productivity, we will be able to increase overall equipment efficiency. So Dario, can you please bring us some light on, on these topics? Hi Fredriksson, thanks for your question. The shuttle you have seen so far aren't the only available in our portfolio. Allow me to introduce our stainless steel shuttle. As you can see, the permanent magnets are fully encapsulated in a stainless steel housing. It is fully welded to guarantee our customer a very clean and hygienic design. As you can see, they perform no differently 
than the standard shuttle. And you can even mix them together in the same application. So that's great, really. Uh, and I suppose to combine this, we also have motor segments in the same design? Great question. But there is actually no need for a special version of the motor segments. Our customer can simply cover them with whatever the material best meets the needs of their application. That could be plastic, glass, and of course, stainless steel. Let me show you what I mean. I can slide a stainless steel sheet between the shuttle and the segment. And look, there is no impact on the system. This capability gives Acopo 6D user the openness to design the machine based on their needs. Thanks to this flexibility, Acopo 6D can be used in clear rooms as well as environment with harsh conditions. That's really great, Ayu. Fantastic. And I mean, now we have possibilities, we have solutions to have a very clean solution that we can super fast clean and we will lose nothing of the productivity or flexibility that we have seen before. I think this, uh, this will be the foundation for many new designs and monumental changes in production going forward. Thank you. Thank you, Frederick. Dario, Akavo 6D is so exciting, it keeps also our Chinese colleagues up at night. Chris is our specialist for the 3C and flexible production industry. And I believe he's got some questions for you too. Hi guys, hi Elena. I have to agree with Vladi and uh, Friedrich. I see a lot of benefits Arcop 60 could bring to my industries. As you know, I work a lot with the 3 market. That will be computer, communication, and consumer electronics. In this market, we have lots of small components which need to be assembled with high accuracy. So what kind of positioning performance could Acop 6D deliver? Hi Chris, glad you asked. We have seen many examples of how flexible Acop 6D is, but the position repeatability is just as impressive. But don't take my word for it, see for yourself. We are positioning the shuttle with a repeatability of plus minus 5 micrometer. A really impressive value. And between me and you, we are working on getting it down even lower. We are not done yet. We are not gonna stop there. That's amazing. Aqua 6D is going to enable some really dramatic improvements to production processes in the service market. Another challenge in the electronic market, I believe in other markets too, is the pressure to reduce the machine footprint. Could Aqua 6D offer any help with that? That's an aspect where Aqua 6D is truly beyond any comparison. It creates a space where it can really be productive on every centimeter, I would say every millimeter of the surface. We have completely eliminated any need for space between shuttles. And each motor segment can handle four shuttles at a time. That's four times the processing density of any comparable system. Acupo 6D really multiply your productivity on a fraction of the floor space. Wow, thank you, Dario. That sounds awesome. One last question. Could an ACOP 6D shuttle for a follow a path generated by a CNC program? Or could we synchronize it with an external axis? I could imagine a lot of ways to improve this uh, procedure and uh, make the whole production more efficient. Absolutely. ACOP 6D is fully integrated in our software platform. That means every shuttle can be controlled by the software modules available in our powerful motion system. You can use the shuttle position as a reference for a slave axis, or the other way around. A shuttle could be the master with other axes coupled to it via an electronic CAM profile. But that's not all. We can also control the shuttle using our CNC decoder. 
an easily defined a movement path. As you can see, the shuttle here is executing a trajectory programmed in G-code, the language used in the CNC machines. Dario, what you have showed us today is an elegant combination of hardware and software. The absence of mechanical constraints, like a guide system, is supported by a highly integrated software system that allows the user to freely define the path at runtime. And they can use point-to-point -point movement, electronic CAM profile or CNC code. I mean, that's what I call flexibility. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I have also seen shuttles working together to lift products up and spin them around. What's up with that? Oh yes, you so correctly. So far, we have seen shuttles controlled individually or linked together virtually. The third option is to link them mechanically. This is a setup that would provide endless rotation and lift the product to a different level, like you said. It also allows shuttle executing different processes to cross path. That's another way Acopo 6D delivers unprecedented processing density and shrinking the machine footprint. And that's just one example of a mechanical link. There are many more we have in mind. We will be showing them on YouTube channel, so if you haven't subscribed already, now it's the right time to do so. You have made it pretty clear that Acopo 6D will have a profound impact on how people think about their solutions. Which raises the question, how can Acabo 6D users make sure their innovative new designs will deliver on their promises? The best person to answer that question is our Acopo 6D software project manager, Mikael. Mikael, could you please show us how an Acopo 6D project can be evaluated during the design phase? Sure, Dario, I'd be happy to. At PNR, we believe that having a full simulation of every component in a machine is no longer just a fancy option to have. It's a key capability that lets our customers shrink their time to market. And of course, Acopo 6D is no exception. In our simulation tool, Scene Viewer, you have the possibility to simulate our complete portfolio. Here we have an Acopo 6D system working together with the robot. And there is no special tool needed. The position information is transferred directly from the real or simulated PLC to your PC. More than a simulation, it is a virtualization. The same code used for simulation can be transferred to the real system without changing a single line of code. Also, the scene viewer layout for Acapo 60 is automatically generated by Automation Studio when you compile your project. You have the possibility to include 3D drawings of processing stations or products to replicate your real system. Here can you see when I'm trying out different shuttle sizes during runtime by changing the 3D drawing. You are of course not locked to scene viewer. You can use any third party simulation tool you want. I am a practical example of using this simulation tool. All movements you've seen today have been developed and validated offline without any hardware. So to make it running today, I've simply transferred the same code to the real system and it worked immediately. Now it's your time to have fun with Acapo 60. Mikkel, that's really impressive. With Acapo 60 fully integrated in the automation ecosystem, you have a complete picture of how the finished machine is going to perform. You know from the very beginning whether it will meet your expectations. And Manuel, as our Acabo 6D technical project manager, could you explain us in more detail how the system is put together? Sure, Lena. You guys have done a great job showing how much freedom Acabo 6D gives our customers and all the really complex things they can do with it. But even with all that potential, Acabo 6D is very simple to handle. That's because it has only three components, the shuttles, the segments, and the controller. That's it. The shuttle is a passive component with integrated permanent magnets. It never comes into contact with the segments. That means there's no friction and no mechanical wear. 
it doesn't generate any contamination into the surrounding air. Like Frederick mentioned, this is very important for machines in sensitive environments, like clean rooms, a septic feeling, and also for the electronic component assembly that Chris was talking about. Contact-free motion requires zero maintenance and zero lubrication. This is the smallest shuttle in our portfolio, 120 by 120 millimeters, but it isn't the only one. We have a wide range of square and rectangular shuttles, able to handle payloads of 600 grams up to 14 kilograms. All the different shuttle types can be mixed and combined within on the same assembly, and every shuttle has a unique ID. When the system is powered on, this shuttle ID, the absolute position and the orientation of the shuttle are immediately available to the user. With our system, we are able to reach a repeatability of plus or minus 5 micrometers. The shuttles can move with a velocity up to 2 meters per second and an acceleration up to 20 meters per second squared. The shuttles move over the surface area defined by the layout of the motor segments. Every segment is supplied with DC voltage and the DC bus can be shared between the segments with DC chaining. Data communication between the segments is provided by ACAPOS 6D link. This ACAPOS 6D link is also used to connect the segment to the controller. The ACAPOS 6D controller is the brain of the system. It receives commands via power link and generates the path of the shuttles, avoiding collisions and staying within the boundaries of the surface. The powerful controller is able to handle up to 200 segments and 50 shuttles. Thanks, Manuel. And one more thing. What can you tell us about the availability? I think our viewers are eager to get their hands on this product. I believe that. It's really fun to work with. And I've got good news for them. They don't have to wait. Everything we have shown is already available. Both the hardware and the software and our global sales and technical network is ready to help you optimize your processes and lead the way in transforming your market with Ecopos 6D. Great, Manuel. It sounds like Ecopos 6D is really going to transform the manufacturing industry. And up next, we have a special guest who can tell us a little more about the transformation. Joining us all the way from the Canadian West Coast, allow me to introduce Shadong Lu. Hi, Lena. Magnetic levitation has always been fascinating to me. It means throwing away the noisy and the greasy burdens. There will be no wear, no tear, no friction, no maintenance. What we have left is precisely controlled motion in all six degrees of freedom. Each mover can go from anywhere to everywhere in a completely free way, allowing every product to go through a unique workflow according to the exact needs of its end user. Over the past two decades, we have invented all the needed technologies to turn that vision into reality, into mature products ready for widespread adoption in industry, from shop floor to clean room, from food to drug, from cosmetics to electronics. BNR is an industry automation leader with a customer-centered philosophy. We are very delighted to partner with BNR to serve customers worldwide. Thanks, Shadong. You heard it, folks. All the Acabus 6D features you have seen are available today. But that's not all. We will be continuing to enhance Acabus 6D with new hardware options and software functions. So subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss our exciting monthly updates with the latest Acabus 6D news. You are right, Lena. Acopos 6D is ready to be used. Acopos 6D is ready to trigger a transition from a rigidly linear product flow to an open, dynamic, multidimensional processing space. Let's play a part in the transformation. And the BNR team is ready to support your success in the upcoming manufacturing revolution. It has been a pleasure to have you connected today. Thanks for your time and see you at the next Acabus 6D update. Bye -bye.